everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make tortillaless chicken soup, and I'm going to show you a couple of tips and tricks that I use throughout the week to keep my sanity and still put food on the table for my family. I am a huge advocate for doing a little bit more work in the beginning to eliminate a lot of stress throughout the week, and these are just kind of some things that I have done for quite some time that have helped me, and I hope that I can share them with you and then they will help you in your space as well. So let's get at it. I'm gonna show you, um, so it's a two-part video kind of. You'll notice, you'll know what I'm talking about when I get at it. Um, I'm gonna show you how I meal prep on Sundays and then how I put the, the meal together um, on the day that I'm actually going to be making it for my family. Um, that way you can kind of see the thought process um, that I have when meal prepping and meal planning and all of that. Um, I do want to do another video about specific meal planning and how I do that, how I lay it all out um, in a way that is so easy, friends. Oh my goodness, it'll change your life. So if you're interested in that, comment down below. Um, just go ahead and put meal planning um, if that's something that you think you would like to see. That way I know kind of the audience that I would be um, directing it to. I don't ever want to put up videos that people aren't interested in because not only does it waste your time, it wastes my time as well if nobody's watching it. So if you're interested in meal planning, comment down below um, and I will do that for you. So I'll start rambling, let's jump into it and I'll show you my process. As I meal prep my food, um, a lot of you who have watched me for a little while know that I cut up my onions and I freeze them. That way I don't have to cut them up every time and smell up the house and all of that. So I cut those up. I see this one is a little bit long. Um, and I put them in the freezer. So as I'm prepping all of my ingredients for this specific meal i just put them all in the same container as the rest of my ingredients they thaw out in the fridge um, and then when i'm ready to make the meal i just dump it all in they're ready to go as i start to do my meal prep for this specific meal um, what i'm going to do is just chop up everything that goes in the soup itself um, even all the way down to putting together the spices um, i'm not going to put the spices in with the actual vegetables and whatnot, but I am going to put them in a separate container. That way all of the spices are measured out. I do not have to do any of that when I go to put the soup together. It's basically just a dump and go situation. I just try to get everything done um, that I can to eliminate basically any work surrounding meal prep during the week. Um, and that works for me. So. What I have in here are two red bell peppers and about a half, maybe a little bit more than a half um, of a yellow onion. I have all of that ready to go and now I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic. Um, it calls for eight cloves of garlic minced. Um, I just had to give that up guys. Th that takes forever. It's a whole process. This is so easy to just do it this way. I get minced garlic from uh, Costco and it's, I mean, I just had to, I just had to wave goodbye to that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put four um, half tablespoons in here because I figure that's about what you get when you do a clove. Uh, I don't know, I might put five in there. We like garlic. So I have five half teaspoons of garlic. Y'all can do the math, I'm not going to. So we've got that. And I will put the recipe um, in the comments below so that you guys can go back and know exactly what you need and the ingredients for everything. 
The next thing that I'm going to do is put my diced green chilies in here and I just take them out of the can and I dump them directly into the container that is going to house all of the ingredients for the soup. And so that is a four ounce can of green chilies. And then next I'm going to put the diced tomatoes in the same container. So I'm doing one 28 ounce can and one 14 and a half ounce can. It calls for crushed, but honestly, I kind of puree mine a little bit um, once the soup is, is finished anyway. So for me, it doesn't really matter. If crushed is easier for you, then you know, that's perfectly fine. And then I just kind of flatten that out, shake everything around. And then I'm going to just stick my lid on top of that. And that is ready to go until I am ready to use it. The last thing that I'm going to do is put together all of my spices. So first I need two tablespoons of taco seasoning. And then one teaspoon of salt. And one teaspoon of cumin. I love cooking with cumin. It just kind of gives especially meat, um, just kind of gives it like a smoke flavor. All right, so I have all of these. I just kind of shake them together, mix them a little bit. You can kind of stir it if you want. That way everything kind of marries. Put my lid on, and again, I am ready to go, and I'm just going to throw this in the crock pot um, when I make the soup. Today is Monday and every Monday we have soup because on Tuesday my kids take uh, soup for their lunch. I don't have to do anything in the morning other than just heat up the leftovers because I always make a little bit extra for that reason. I heat it up in the morning, put it in their thermos, and again, I don't have to um, put a lot of effort into their lunch, yet effort was put in ahead of time if that makes sense. Um, but this is exactly why I love meal prep. If I were to put all of this stuff together right now, so right now it is 118. Um, if I were to start this process right now, it would take me probably 30 minutes um, to get all of this stuff together. Now I'm at 145, and it just takes so much time out of your day when you don't have that much time to give. And so for me, coming in the kitchen, I mean, my kitchen is picked up. I don't have dishes in the sink or anything like that. I don't have pots and pans on the stove, like nothing. I literally came in, pulled the stuff out of the fridge, out of the pantry, and all I have to do is just throw it in the crock pot and it does the work for me. So I cannot push meal prepping um, enough. So what I'm going to do is dump and go. I have my crock pot set on high for four hours. And all I'm going to do is pour all of this in here. I'm gonna put my spices in next. I mean, how fast is that? Like if I were to measure those spices out, it would take me, five-ish minutes, which may not sound like a lot, but it really is when you're in a hurry. Open up my chicken. I know some people cut off the, like the fat here. Um, some people don't. I cut it off because it, I don't know, it just grosses me out for some reason. I kind of stir the ingredients in here a little bit before I put my chicken in. Let me show you. So I just kind of stirred all of that together and then I just kind of push this down so that it just really gets in there and gets coated. And then again, just kind of push that down, cover it up even more. 
you can. That way it just kind of acts like a marinade. And then the last thing is just to pour in your broth. Some people like a lot of broth. Some people don't like much. Like they, they like it um, not as liquidy. I have an extra container here um, just ready to go. I feel like sometimes when it cooks down and you start to serve it, um, I don't know, I always feel like I need more broth. I don't like a really thick soup, so for me, I always like to have a little bit on the side that I can kind of pour in if I need to and warm up in the microwave or whatever. Um, this appears to have a lot, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Once that chicken starts to suck the um, liquid up as well, we'll just kind of play it by ear. So about halfway through, I kind of look at it. If it looks like maybe I need a little bit extra, I can pour it in then or wait till after. It's just individual preference. I'm gonna go ahead, put my lid on. And that's it, I'm totally done. That took me like, not even five minutes, I don't think. Um, and I even cut the nasty fat off of the chicken. So everything is finished. That was super fast. I can go on about my day while that is working for me. And all I have to do is rinse these dishes, throw them in the dishwasher, and I'm good to go. And with two minutes of cleanup, my kitchen is right back to where it was before. And it is already heating up and it'll be ready once everybody gets back home tonight um, from sports and work and all that business. Okay, so my soup is ready and I wanted to show you a couple of things that um, I do that maybe would interest you. So this tool right here, I love this thing. I use this for ground beef, um, for shredding chicken, I mean, it's, I use it for everything. This was like, I don't know, three bucks, 350, something like that at Walmart. So what I'm going to do, because I have my chicken breast right here, I'm just going to mash this down. And this is what is going to shred the chicken. So the bottom of these little blades are sharp and so it just basically cuts everything for you. The next thing I'm going to do is use my immersion blender. Um, I use this for my soups because my kids don't like um, like big chunks of tomato or pepper or um, whatever I sometimes put in my soups. So this just kind of blends everything together, makes it a little bit smoother. Um, that's what I'm gonna do right now. And then as you can see, it just kind of shreds all of that up, makes it a little bit smoother, um, kind of chops up the tomatoes so they're not as chunky, and kind of gets right in there um, and kind of shreds up the chicken even more. And then lastly, I just add some sour cream to this um, as well as some guacamole. Um, I like this better than avocado, so I just use these. We get these from Costco as well. Um, and I just kind of spoon it out and dip it according to like how much we're gonna use. And that way I don't have to cut up an entire avocado, um, not use it all, like the whole thing. I, I have a love-hate relationship with avocados. Um, and so I just find that this is a lot easier because we can reuse it um, and it doesn't go nasty like avocados do when you do not use them. So this is exactly how we eat it. Um, when you mix in the sour cream, obviously it gives it uh, kind of a more creamy flavor. So if that's not really something that you would enjoy, then um, I would just say to omit that. Um, but otherwise, this is it, easy and simple. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it kind of gave you 
a little bit more insight into ways that you could eliminate some work for you um, during the week if you just take a few extra minutes um, on Saturday or Sunday whatever works best for you or who knows maybe you have a day off during the week and it's easier for you to um, dedicate some time to meal planning for the rest of that week not everybody's week starts on Monday so it's just again friends this is how I do it my intention is never for you to 100% copy me it's just to give you different ideas that you can tweak and make work for you in your current situation if you think that this is a channel that you would enjoy following um, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and if you click the bell it will let you know every time I post a new video videos now are going to be on Tuesdays and Thursdays so you can either click on the bell it will tell you or you can check back on those days to see if a new video has posted okay friends until next time be intentional about the life that you want to live and allow the space between where you are and where you want to be inspire you and not terrify you I'll see you soon bye bye